Okay, so today, guys, we're back with highlights from a stream that I did a couple of months ago with my good friend, Rox. If you don't know who Rox is, he's an admin from my Discord server, and he is one of the very best players that I know absolutely crushes mid-stakes cash games. And I was lucky enough to have him on the stream in the booth for a 50 and L session that I played, and his analysis is absolutely top draw, so I thought I would share it with you guys on YouTube. If you are new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, then please do consider doing so. Also, drop a like on the video. It really helps me out, but for now, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you on the next one. For now, we're getting to dust off some money. How about that, Rox? Sounds good. I love dusting off money. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Let's go. Um, uh, blue is reg and uh, orange is don't bluff. And um, what's, what's the last thing I was going to say? I've got one more, which is really important. Um, purple is fish. Um, purple big fish. Ah, uh, okay. Right. So we're already off to a really fun start, Rox. <laughs> so let me just play this horrendous hand and then you can have a look. So Jack 1010, we threw bet he called. Um, not really sure. This is the kind of spot where I really don't like. I think checking back is fine. But, and we can also call some turns. So let's try check, but I'm not a huge fan of either option. He checks again. I think now with Ace Queen High, we're probably in showdown mode, although. I'm actually a little bit concerned about losing to something like pocket seven, so I don't know whether we need to start betting here. This is a good hand to start <laughs> to start <laughs> with. Um, and I guess now we just have to check. I don't really want to lose to pocket nines, but yeah, this is going to be interesting because I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what you have to say about this. Um, we obviously could have won that hand if we'd bet, but I didn't know what to do on that board. That's not a board I've studied recently. So if you want to, I'll bring out the replay for you. You can just go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, um, we're, go we're definitely going to have some 10x here. So we do want to bet sometimes. On the other hand, if we look at our potential bluffs, we we're going to have a lot of uh, ace-queen, um, ace-king and king-queen combo. So ace-queen, I would probably mix here. Okay. Um, he'll probably check all the flop with, uh, with ace-king, uh, like the hand yeah. that he had. And on the turn, it's basically the same story. We're still going to have uh, some 10x, um, maybe some over pairs that want to bet at some frequency, even though those are going to be very high frequency checks. Yeah. So we do want uh, we do want to continue sometimes, but definitely not all the time. And regarding the suits, this is obviously a pretty good hand because we um, like if Philan is going to have queen 10 suited, probably not, but uh, he also opened 4x pre, so he's probably not the strongest player. Yeah. Um, but we definitely do block uh, ace 10 suited, which uh, which makes it, uh, yeah, pretty good suits. Yeah, I think that you're right. And I should have somehow found a bet. Got, sorry, guys, you didn't see what was going on, but I have queens, which is a good hand. Rox isn't allowed to confirm that right now, but. You know, he probably will agree with me later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to start half pot on this paired board. All right. And we get raised, which is <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> so super dry, which is like really annoying. This guy is green. He's also like not very aggressive in general. There's really nothing I can do here but call. So I'm not even going to talk too much about it. I've seen worse turns, Rox. Mm, um, yeah, I, um, I'm not allowed to say anything, so uh, <laughs> maybe this is a fault. <laughs> um, well, now we really hope that FJS has a 9 and obviously absolutely nothing to do but call here. Um, I cannot imagine Rox having a problem with my line so far. As rivers go, we're obviously hoping that he has something like 10-9, 9-8. He has a bunch of 9x in the big blind. Obviously, we weren't delighted on the flop and if this had run out brick brick then we'd have been pretty upset with life um as it happens this is a wonderful obviously run out and we're hoping that he just has a nine he, he checked which we were worried about um now the thing is he should probably just be jamming all of his 9x i'm not sure if he's going to be trapping 9x here so i'm a bit confused and i'm wondering whether if he's trapping me then i want to go for value if he's got 10 high, like 10, eight of hearts, then he's not calling any bet. So we might as well just go all in and hope that he calls. <laughs> that's the, that's my logic. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Flop is obviously fine. Turn is also fine. Nothing else you can do there on the river though. Um, oh, no. I'd probably bet uh, pretty small to induce because all of his bluffs that, um, that I've missed 
Um, if you think of his bluffs on the flop, those are going mainly going to be jack 10, 10, 8, uh, 8, 6, etc. And on the deuce river, he is never going to have a semi bluff that now has a pair that he can check all with. Mm. So even though this might still be a jam in theory, um, I think in practice, villain is just never going to have a pair here. So he's either going to have pure air or yeah, even a hand like sevens or nine seven would probably just uh, jam because yeah. you're still going to have all of the overpair. So, so my thoughts were that I was going to bet small so that he could call, so that he could. So I was, was going to jam so that he could call with all the stuff that he checks. But I guess that all that stuff just rams it in anyway. But you're saying bet small so that he finds some absolute hero jam with like ten high, right? Yeah, basically okay. to induce, yeah, because uh, you, uh, like I said, he only has uh, complete air or he has uh, something that's trapping, even though I don't think he will ever trap here, to be honest, because it's pretty... Um, I mean, you can still have all of the overpairs, you can have some uh, 9x, so if he has 7s, he's just going to ram it in, if he has a 9, he's just going to bet. Yeah. Um, we just folded this hand. So we opened against the green and he just called and then donked ace king nine and we called and then the turn he just bet like huge and we folded what do you think yeah that's probably fine i mean <laughs> i don't know what he's doing donking that board that's mm. uh, kind of a special play um and yeah on the turn a lot of um a lot of hands, like let's say if he has 10 jack or something that somehow got there. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think our hand is just doing very well against uh, against the donk flop, donk turn line, especially for that size. And if we do call here, then on most rivers, we're also, we also have no idea what to do. Yeah. That thing there makes a lot of sense. It did not have a nine, guys. It's really unfortunate. It looked like he might be. I mean, if he if he has ten high, especially a ten like a ten. I'm talking about that um, queen's hand that's on stream. Mm. If he has like ten high with with a nine blocker, then surely he just has to go with it. Um. Yeah. Uh, probably not all of the time because he's gonna have a lot of um, a lot of draws there. All right. So if he's gonna bet all of his uh, jack ten hands, he's gonna be over bluffing. So he's going to check a bunch of those. So here's interesting. We called a three bet and this is the sizing that I don't agree with. So I've put a note for yellow just so like a potentially weaker um, because I just don't mm. think this is a thing. Half pot on this board. Um, obviously we call. I don't think we can actually call the turn anymore. We could be completely dead. Um, I think I'm just going to fold. Yeah, folding is fine on the queen turn. If we um, if we would get an offsuit six, for example, then we would be more inclined to call, but we would probably have to mix this. Mm. Um, and yeah, with the flop sizing, uh, it's ob obviously not optimal, but um, it's also not the worst mistake. If he would go, let's say, 80% uh, pot or something, it, it would just be a blunder. But uh, betting half pot instead of a third or 25%, it's uh, it's... It's a minor mistake. Would be really nice to finish the challenge on your 40th birthday, though. Right. I'm not sure about Imagine that. Imagine the celebrations. That would be scenes. I mean, it's going to be scenes if we ever finish it. Anyway, we've got eight nine of spades, and we've opened it up under the gun. And oh, you're getting milked here. We're getting we're getting three <laughs> bet milked by the button. And we're going to call. We flop two pair and we go for the check and we're just trying to try and get this money in as soon as possible. He checks behind, which is unfortunate, and now we need to start betting to protect our hand. So we're going to go three quarters. And he's all in and we have a snap call. And he has top set and we love this game <laughs> more than anything in the world. Would you say, would you say that this is a reasonable flop for eight, nine against aces? I mean, it's an action flop. That's what the viewers want, right? Is that, I, I, I know the viewers don't give a shit if I win or not, but. Like it's just been it's just been so unfortunate the last few weeks, I, especially whenever I play fifty. It just doesn't seem like I, I can I can get anything going. Check check. I mean, obviously you don't have a problem with any of this, I imagine. No, no, no. I mean, that's just an insane setup. Uh, uh, nothing you can do there. That's very unlucky. There you go, guys. Apparently, getting in top, uh, getting in two pair against top set is fine. You heard you heard it here first. <laughs> 
I mean, it'll also be uh, be easier once you actually quit your job, right? Absolutely, that will certainly be easier. So we defended the big blind here rather than rather than squeezing. I think squeezing is fine, but like this guy, I don't know, twenty five four four, and this guy half pots, which is annoying because he's not really going to bet like very often. I don't think into this guy, but also at the same time, this board is pretty good for his range. So, um, we just gonna have to call and see what happens on the turn. So we just need to either show this down as cheaply as possible or, or maybe even consider folding this turn, depending on the action. I mean, I don't think I can fold to half pot against an unknown, but I'm not very happy about it. He may check back a bunch here, yeah. I didn't think I was going to win that hand very often. Is, do you have any problems with that? Do you think we can try and fire to fold on the turn? Or is it just two net? Um, poof, um... I mean, it's so hard to imagine him value betting anything worse of value, especially with a 60 big blind player in the, um, in yeah. the small blind there. Um, Pre-flop, I probably like a squeeze a little bit better. I mean, those two, the Broadway hands, especially the King X and the Ace X Broadways, mm -hmm. are going to perform very well against uh, against a 60 big blind stack. Yeah. Um, and both on the flop and the turn, um, uh, the play is fine, but um, you can even make an argument for either leading the flop or the turn because uh, with the weaker player and the small blind, um, under the gun player is also going to be playing very face up. So you, you can lead the flop. Um, it's a possibility. It's not something that I've uh, I've studied that much. So, um, Come on, but, man. Uh, it's something that. It, it's something that plays very well in practice versus the weaker right. player because obviously like theory goes out of the window if um if you're playing under the gun small blind big blind and there's a weaker player in the small blind because yeah. like i said he is going to play very face up oh. thing against ducky but if you show seven three off then uh, it shows <laughs> that you uh, that you do have bluffs so apparently stars is up so let me know guys would you rather see me move over or do you want me to keep playing here um it's up to you. If you want to see stars, then we can move over. If not, then I'll stay. Uh, so Ace King Ten, I actually don't think we're ever getting three streets, and our hand doesn't need all that much protection. So I'm just going to check. Although obviously this is like smacking our range, I just don't mind. Also against like a player that I expect to be weaker to to thread in some checks. I actually don't mind checking again here, but this is getting a, a bit silly now. I still do want to let him blast off, so I am going to try another check. Rox is going to have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Um, and now we just want to, I, I thought this guy would, would blast off a bit more. He looks like he would, but he didn't. So we're just going to go half pot. I hope to get called by the two pair. Never mind. Yeah, that seems fine. Um, it's also possible to block turn, but uh, checking turn is also uh, very reasonable. I shall wait four minutes for your answers. We're going to isolate the, here you go. So this is what I'm talking about. This is obviously <laughs> a lovely flop. We're going to start with a small bet and I'm not folding. We get a call and a, a, a quite phenomenal turn. And I think we just need to go like this sizing so we can just keep him involved and then just jam the river on it, pretty much everything. I don't think Rox is going to have a problem with this one. No, 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 that seems completely fine. Okay. <laughs> so, so the turn is probably fine. Uh, river is... Um... No, nah, river is pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, river's terrible. Okay. I, I, when I when he snapped me off, I thought he I thought he had a deuce. Um, right, we're gonna fall. Oh back. yeah, we're gonna fall back call here, guys. And his stack size makes me want to do something like this. I think that's a good size. Put him in tough spots. Take it down. Sizing there, rocks. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. We can maybe even go a little bit smaller because he has like 70 big blinds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just a very awkward stack size because against uh, 40 or 50 big blinds, uh, mm -hmm. you can just play 4 bet jam. Yeah. But against 70 or 80 big blinds, I'm actually not sure. I think just having a 4 bet jamming range can be fine, but uh, having a smaller 4 bet range uh, is also fine. So I probably defend this uh, close to 100. Okay. And we folded, which is obviously fine, guys. Don't worry. Uh, King, Queen, oh, I mean... 8. 
ace king and i think we can obviously want to bet um either half pot or th a third seems fine i think i'm going to go for like 40 percent because i think both are good uh club completing turn is bullshit and we're going to check really really good river so now we're trying to get called by so he wouldn't have checked back a flush so we're fine we'll obviously have the nuts here um no way he checks back a set or anything like that um so we're trying to target pretty much a queen here and i don't think we can go too big against that but i think 22 is going to be fine so the only thing i think there is to think about there is flop sizing rocks and river sizing i think turn check is fist pump but up to you i'll let you go with it yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with the turn check. Uh, flop size, I think we want to size up a little bit because mm -hmm. uh, usually we want to size down on king high boards, but um, when there are going to be two broadways and a flush draw, we want to size up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, but going smaller here is definitely not uh, not the worst mistake. So we um, like forty percent on the river. Yeah, like forty percent is um, is also better than sizing very small mm -hmm. because. Um, I usually go either 33 or 66% in 3-bet bots, yeah. uh, depending on whether I want to go small or big. But uh, you studied uh, uh, with uh, Poker Scientist, right? I mean... Which has a 40% bet. I okay. have Poker Scientist. I wouldn't say that I've studied with <laughs> very often. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, no, but 40% is fine. Now. We check. Yeah, so that it only runs 25%, 40%, and 80% on the sizes. So yeah, 40% is... Something I've been using more. Um, king on the river, and then, yeah, sizing. We choose um, 22 big blinds. I probably size down a little bit because it's uh, king, king, queen, xx. Um, if it would be king, king, jack, it would be a different story because then we would be mainly targeting king, queen. Um, now we're going to be targeting king, jack, which he's going to have maybe a little bit less often, even though I can't see him folding pre, though. Um, but I probably lean towards sizing down here, even though this isn't going to be a big mistake at all, because we're going to have the best hand almost always here. Okay. So uh, I'm definitely fine with, uh, with your line in general. I'll fucking take it guys. I was targeting a queen. So we got a call from the queen. Okay. 10. Yeah. <laughs> and you said you were targeting King Jack. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, that was my reason for sizing up a little bit. Like, um, if we think about the next best hand filling can have, that's obviously King Jack and maybe uh, King Ten. So, um, if Philin is going to have those hands a lot, we can size up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, if we choose a smaller sizing, then we'll target. We will be targeting more Queen X. Right. We're going to four bet here. This guy is, is this guy's not aggressive. So if he does four bet shove, like. It's not nice, <laughs> but we have to call. Yeah. Like, especially if you play long uh, Zoom or Snap sessions, like, every now and then you're going to end Ooh. up with a 900 big blind stack or something, and it's just, like, yeah. such a good feeling. Oh, my goodness. Look, guys, obviously this isn't a thing, and I don't care because this guy's awful, so I'm just going to raise. <laughs> I'm just going to raise. Please don't fold. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not even I'm not even gonna bother guys. If he has a set <laughs> if he has a set, I'm, I might not play this game anymore. Let's see who has the higher set. Hold. Oh. Hold! Come on! Yeah, nice. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Like, we played that guy like a little fiddle because we just knew that he was gonna do <laughs> something stupid like that because we have him tagged. And and the guy that that was a guy that just straight ripped fifty big blinds by the way on another table. So tagging and memory serving us well there to get paid immediately rather than risking like an ace on the turn. What do you think, Rox? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's fine, especially against a weaker player. Um, in theory, against a pot size bet, we would almost never raise. Yeah, um, no, I'm fully aware. And, and especially on this board, like almost half of the deck is just going to be bad for us. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So even if we would be 100 big blinds deep and we would see, let's say, a queen, a seven, a five, or a four, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But 
when you're let's say 140 big blinds deep it's, uh, it's just going to be terrible yeah so you're okay with all this yeah against a weaker player definitely yeah well we just saw him rip 50 big blinds over a limp so i just mm. i just back him to do like the reason we don't do this in theory guys is because people are, res will respond appropriately to our play and this guy will never so it doesn't matter we don't we don't even think about theory here we just fucking get it in as soon as we can um because this guy has shown that he doesn't give a shit about getting it in as soon as he can so we don't want to play against him like any other player because yeah if we if someone pots here and then well obviously first of all potting's not a thing so we're already like not even we're already not even playing the, the same game um the, the bottom line is we have him tagged we've seen him do stupid shit and we have a, a really good hand that does need some protection and there are obviously some hands this specifically like the hand he has that there are a lot of turn cards that he would be a lot less happy about getting in on he, he he's gonna be a lot happier now even though he shouldn't be <laughs> because my line is <laughs> insanely strong um he's gonna be a lot happier getting in now than he is on a nine a seven a five a ten a queen an ace you know so just give him the chance to make as, m as many mistakes as possible as soon as possible i think is just what i want to do there that seems good. But I think, you know, I think we've played okay. I want to say we've played okay. We have three bet the queen 10. This is like optional, but I rolled a 97 and this is the guy that keeps folding to three bet. So I'm just going to three bet again. Hopefully Tucky doesn't four bet. Uh oh, cold four bet incoming. No, oh no. Cold call. <laughs> um, Ace, eight, eight. I think we're going to start with a bet. He says you want some. <laughs> I don't really. I've got queen high, but hopefully just folds. I have been playing quite tight against him today, so he might fold a little bit more. We're going to face the min race R now. King turn. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm actually going to bet small again. I'm, I want him to fold. Oh my god. <laughs> why do i have to do this i don't think i can fold i don't think i can fold yeah i can't fold you love to see it <laughs> 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 you love to see it. Don't have, don't have a full house. Fuck you, Tucky. No. Yes. <laughs> get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. <laughs> well, someone's gotta be in hands for the week. Oh yes, absolutely. You love to see it. <laughs> Luck with strikes again. Fuck you, Tucky. Get out of my pissing games, you prick. Serves you right. <laughs> right anyway there's we we we, we want to talk about the hand so rocks i mean i probably butchered the fucking piss out of this but let's have a look oh i was, uh, was that bad um oh by the way do you um do you play cold calling ranges no at any point or mm -mm. no mm -mm. Uh, if, if you did this would be the perfect spot because you're obviously very deep with uh with under the gun player yeah have you seen the rake uh, yeah, the rake isn't ideal, but I mean, uh... it's like 5%. Hmm. I'm also deep, so I think it's the cap's a bit higher. Um, anyway, 8 8 8 ace. What do you think? I mean, we're playing a sneaky tucky who just cold called, so we can't really put him on the range. <laughs> True, <laughs> it can be anything. <laughs> um, I think he has a lot of faults. Yeah, obviously, here. this. Yeah, this is a very good board for us. So mm -hmm. in theory, we want to uh, we want to range bet for small. Okay, I went. Oh, we a bet bit half bigger. pot here. Yeah, right? yeah, we bet half pot. Okay. Because I think he's uh, going to be stickier. Uh, than... Okay, he's going to be stickier than normal, and I just want him to fold. I need to give him a bit more of a reason to fold because he's just not a folder, as you know. Um, yeah. So he calls, and then the king hearts is pretty fucking interesting. I've dusted it all off. <laughs> what do you think of this turn? Because I didn't have a fucking clue what to do here. I, I wanted to barrel because obviously like it's a really good card for me. 
Like for the same reason you size up flop, um, it would be a pretty nice uh, opportunity to jam ourselves here because if we bet and we get raised, we're basically in a pretty shitty spot. So, mm -hmm. um, so that, that line is not ideal. And if he shoves, he wins. To be honest, if he just like shoves. um yeah, if he shoves, um, we're actually it's gonna be pretty close because if we bet small and he shoves, then we only need like what twenty five percent equity yeah, to yeah. win or something. Yeah, it is close, isn't it? Because we have a jack as well. And given that we're playing a sneaky tucky, I can yeah. definitely see him getting it in against uh, <laughs> or with a worse draw. So yeah, I so agree. I think we're priced in anyway. Yeah, I agree. I don't think we can fold, can we? 25, yeah, it wouldn't have been that much more. It would have been even better to win that way. Anyway, as played, we bet small. What do you think? Nonsense. Um, you no, can no, say. no. I mean, it's still fine. All right. Because, I mean, this uh, ace-king-8-8 eight, eight board is going to hit us so hard that we're going to have hands like ace-king, <laughs> aces-kings, which don't need any protection. Oh, well, ace-king does, but uh, mm. aces and kings definitely don't. Right. Um, so it makes sense to bet small. And then versus raise, we just have a call. Uh, yeah. And then donk shove river always for fifteen. <laughs> I mean, how balanced are we gonna be here? Who gives a shit, mate? Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Boom. I'm just gonna. I'm just getting. I it think we should... tell him it's bad rock. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty terrible. I mean, <laughs> unbelievable how bad sneaky Tucky is rocking this session. <laughs> I, I, I oh, just... now other people. <laughs> oh, here we go. I don't know who this guy is, but on a, on a 60, I'm going to be playing four bets. Oops, sorry, Rox, don't panic. I'm, that was a misclick. <laughs> <laughs> Snap call. Deuce, deuce, three. I mean, this is like just the best board ever normally, but not against this guy. It's fucking horseshit against this guy. Anyway, we're going to bet. Nine of spades. This is the thing, guys. Like, this is such a good fucking barrel off for me. But against this guy, it's, it's just not going to be... I want to bet small again and then, and then shove the river. But... Maybe I should just do it. I think this actually becomes bad to have a king of spades now. I really don't want to try and get this guy to fold. So I'm not going to do it. Oh, this is going to be ace-king against ace-king. It's not. He's got like tens. Oh, I'm not allowed to say anything. <sighs> That's a really annoying hand. I really hate hands like that. Like, they really, really fucking piss me off. <laughs> More than any other hands that they piss yeah. me off. Um, anyway, I'll let you roast me. Um... Yeah, like in um, in theory, we're probably going to be range betting flop um, on the turn. Like the thing is, um, he's still going to have a lot of ace king combo. So even though in theory we should take lines where we are going to either chop or lose against ace king, um, I would actually prefer to take lines where we win against ace king. So if you play a small bet or check on the turn, then um, I would probably lead more towards betting turn and then jamming river, um, or otherwise just check and give up. Yeah. But betting turn and checking river, it's um, I think in practice it doesn't perform as well as in theory. Right. Yeah, I kind of wanted a spade. I, don't, I just don't think he's going to fold anything. This is my problem. Like, this is the kind of guy that I want to just get it in with good hands. I have loads of good hands. I'd rather just check fold, honestly. The turn. <sighs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, if that's the case, then um, there's also an argument for flatting pre, even though it would still be a high-frequency 4-bet, but against those players, I probably wouldn't purely 4-bet out of position there. Mm. Okay. Well, I, did, I, I didn't pure 4-bet. I, I rolled for half 4-bet. 60. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that seems, uh, seems totally fine. So we had this hand, and I guess I don't think this is a problem, but uh, you might have a better idea. We just 3-bet, and we went for half part on this board? 
Oh yeah, that's uh, completely fine. Yeah, and he we just definitely shoves. do want to uh, size up here and uh, have thought this uh, is fine. If he shoves, yeah, that's just a very easy fold. Yeah. Ooh. Boom. This guy opens to four big blinds. That's a good start. <laughs> we'll make it twelve. Oh god. Okay. It's about to say. No, we want gold calls. Yeah, this guy doesn't cold call though. Pretty good flop. Um, I'm not going to play any checks. If we were going to play checks, then this would be a great hand to check, but fuck this guy. He opens to four big blinds, and he's almost certainly going to be weaker, I imagine. And this is obviously another situation where it's just a prime candidate to just flat. I think this situation being in position, whereas the sixes, we were out of position, this makes more sense to just call. He checks, and I actually think I'm going to check. Um, we still have that ace of clubs. We still want him to bluff. I think a lot of the time when he checks his turn after doing what he did on the flop, he's going to be bluffing now. So I think we're just going to check and let him, let him blast off the river and just hope to fucking Christ he doesn't have 6-5 suited or some shit. Lovely. Perfect. I think we played that just how we want to play that. By the way, that guy is one of the worst players yep. I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> right, Rox, if you want to talk, because there's a few interesting situations there where we may have gone different against the opponent type that, um, that, that raises to that sizing. So if you want to maybe talk about a little bit about what you might have done here exploitatively, and obviously in theory, we're, we're probably on the same page, but you want to go ahead and talk? Yeah, about yeah I, like the, I like this line a lot. Um, when he opens 4x pre, he's probably a little bit stronger. I mean, 4x under the gun is going to be a pretty tight range. Mm -hmm. um, so on a king high board, it's going to be pretty hard to um, to get paid off. But um, but for that reason, we obviously size down. Mm -hmm. Even though we can probably size down maybe a little bit more because it was uh, 4x pre to 12x. So maybe we so... just want to play this hand quickly. So we've got ace queen, yep. um, we three bet and a uh, small blind four bet, and we have a mandatory call. And we are broke, ladies and gents. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, he goes big. And I want to realize my equity here, so I'm just going to go all in. I think this is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's completely fine. Looks like we might get folds. He might have ace king. That would be really sucky if he called. Yeah, if he calls it off with ace king, it's. Um, no, I mean, we'll fucking oh, take nice. that all day long, rocks. We'll talk about that in a sec. That's but... the 400 big blind mark. We were at the 400 mark, guys. We were tilted like two minutes ago, and rocks said you're <laughs> gonna get it all back, and we did. Just, just get rocks in the boot, You just guys. moaned it all back. I moaned the whole, <laughs> sh whole lot of it back. Um, right, so. We get check raised on King Five Deuce, which is obviously pretty nonsense. Specific, specifically, what the way he has, yeah. and I think even against the player this bad, we want to keep his bluffs in. We're pretty much not worried about like any turns. Obviously, there are we we can imagine situations where he will make the best hand on some cards, but I don't think that matters. I think we mainly just want to play. So yeah, just call it calling here, right? Yeah, 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 one hundred. Yeah. So. It's, it's, it's very different to the sixes hand where we got it in because we, we have to check the turn on the sixes hand, whereas we have control of, over whether the money goes in on this turn because we're in position. So I, I, even though the player is still really awful, um, we want to play it in a different way because position is, is king in this situation. And then, yeah, the turn, I, I, I'm f almost certain that this kind of opponent, if he had a set, would jam the turn, like almost certain. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so I'm pretty sure that when he checks, he's got fuck all. Um, so against fuck all, the best thing to do is check for sure. The five is like, he yep. could have like, I mean, the five of spades isn't actually too bad because if he was going to check raise something, it'd be like six five of spades rather than, you know, whatever. What do you think, Rox? I, I, I mean, you're so much better than me. I don't know what the fuck I'm even talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, uh, that hand is, uh, you played it perfectly. Um, it's actually um, a very similar spot to the, um, uh, to the spot we had earlier where you made a full house on uh, queen nine nine oh yeah xx um yeah like after facing a check race and especially such a big check race and you faced a check on the next street then villain is just going to have so many uh so many hands that are just complete air mm. uh, the only hand you can think of here that villain can have is maybe a hand like ace three suited if he would open that and call that three yeah. So probably not, but a hand like that can uh, play like this. Um, but besides that, this is 
this is gonna be ace queen ace jack suited or a low pocket pair so often that yeah um that there's just no point in betting cool and so, as we see like there's so much value in just uh, checking back the turn and basically winning um almost a pot size bet on the river yeah we have the the the, the best possible combo to do that with obviously mm. especially with having a club as well we're just not worried about many runouts. So on the yeah, but even if we didn't have the ace of clubs, I think I would still prefer to call flop, just right. to keep uh, his random air in. Yeah, I agree, rocks. Which means I'm just as good as you. Does that work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have four, you you have four hundred big blinds now, so I think uh, you're the better player here. Ace king. I'm gonna stick to what we're doing. Oh no, we're deep as shit. <laughs> Oh god, there could be some very, very uncomfortable situations. So I'm not exactly sure how much more I'm supposed to make it when we're this deep, but I think that I remember Ben telling me that to, not to change it up too much. I'm gonna just tack on an extra 0.5. I'd normally go 10.5, so I think I'll just make it 11 and call it there. I'm not a huge fan of bloating the pot with this hand anyway. This is disgusting, by the way. I'm never ever five betting. Um, I'm not folding, so let's see a flop, I guess. At least it's not going to get me in trouble. Just check fold. I don't think we even need to defend against a small bet. I, just, I mean, maybe we do. I really don't want to, especially out of position. Yeah, when the timer restarts. Okay. Oh, he's back. We're going to fold out of position here. He's made it slightly, slightly bigger than I would have liked as well, so I'm just going to fold. What do you think? Um, yeah, if you don't play any, uh, any five bets pre, then you're still going to have all of your ace-king combos. And, um, if you're going to be folding all of them, uh, including some, uh, some ace-queen combos and some other suited hands that you call pre, then you're probably going to be overfolding. But then again, it is very uncomfortable to, uh, to play back there. When yeah. you're what uh, three hundred big lines deep or two fifty or something, yeah. Villain's range is simply going to be more narrow. Yeah. Uh, so we can overfold, but if we if we fold all of our ace king off combos, then we're folding a lot. I agree. So I think we have to defend like at some frequency, probably like uh, twenty five or thirty three percent. Okay. Well, then you're probably just fine with the fold, then I imagine. Yeah. 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 We three bet the ace king and we get a call and we flop top pair, which is all I really want in life, to be honest with you. Top pair. And we're going to start with the bet. Oh, uh, just, just think of the 470 big blinds we're going to have at the end of that. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do that to me. I imagine <laughs> if, we get this, if we get this in, it's not going to be like all that comfortable. But It does run sometimes, but uh, a lot less. Oh, let's see what happens here. We're going to click it. We're going to click it back, guys. Small. <laughs> Oh, you made it too big. No, he's, <laughs> he's fine. Hello there. Don't do it to me. Hold that shit together. No, no five. Uh, <laughs> yes. No. Come on. There we go. <laughs> we Eight, moaned it we back. We moaned the aces 400 in. 400 plus again. <laughs> you, you know it, man. So nine here, we open the cutoff and big mind is in the tank. Um, we did get we did get an interesting spot. We we had king. Did you see the king queen? Oh, okay, we're just gonna play this hand. We're just gonna call guys. We're not playing four bets here, even though it's a bit weird. Uh, uh, the king queen blind blind for the blind. Yeah, yeah, we over at the turn. Um, so pocket knights here. We just want to check. I think uh, I don't really see any point in betting. Lovely, lovely turn. Ooh. Um, he bets, which is really weird. I don't think we want to raise. Uh. Do you want to raise? It's close. We're on 11, so let's just go with call. Keep his bluffs in. We can raise the river. And we don't. We can't really go too big. We're asking like a pair or two pair to call, so we'll just make it 22 and hope he flicks it in with two pair. Okay, he doesn't, which is fine. What do you think? In fact, uh, I'm, going probably, for a uh, I'm going for a piss. So I'm going for a piss so you can talk about how bad I am without me actually being here. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, 
So guys, I'm just going to leave you with rocks while I have a piss quickly, and he's going to talk about nines. Obviously, it's going to, the replay is going to go quickly, but he will manage to talk about it in detail regardless. I'll be back in two minutes. Yep. Yeah, so obviously, free flop is uh, very standard. Uh, Villain's play is not, uh, but calling here is fine. Then on the flop, checking back is fine. On the turn, I would probably prefer a race, mainly because hands like Ace Queen and King Queen uh, just have to call because they have an open ender or double gutter. Um, then he's gonna have some flush draws or some random hands that do want to bet. Um, but even if he's gonna have a hand like Ace King somehow, um, he's still gonna have two overs and a gut shot so even though he might fault this is obviously a weaker player so it wouldn't surprise me if he would call if we don't race too big so in that sense i would really like to go for a race here there are just so many hands that have enough equity to call a race here that um that i think we do want to race even though calling isn't the worst and on the river, there's just uh, nothing else to do. I mean, if he checks, we just have to bet because he's never going to have queen nine. So we always have the best hand and just unlucky that we didn't get paid off. Now I've got to overcome the mental barrier of the fact that I didn't get anything from that session. I lost money. And by the way, yeah. can we just say how fucking deep we are here against Pedri? <laughs> I'm just going to raise to 11, guys. <laughs> But I've, this is this is the biggest pot I've ever seen in my life. He could have tens, and I just want to die. Anyway, we want to size up on this board in general. Anyway, so I'm just going to do that. I I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind folds. Right. So nines he can still have, <laughs> tens he can still have, but so can I. I think we definitely want to bet the turn. But guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm all over the place here. I'm absolutely all over the place. I'm going to bet the turn. I mean, we just have to bet the river right, but like Queens, Jacks, he snap called both turn and river. I think all we have to do here is bet fold. There's nothing else to do. We just bet fold and we're trying to target like Jacks and Queens. I think we just want to go somewhere in the region of just below 100 big blinds. Please don't jam. Uh, that's a chunky bet. Lovely. What do you think about that then? Uh, Lux? This is something to fucking talk about here because I have no idea how to size <laughs> this fucking hand in i have no clue but apart from flop i'm okay I'm, with flop but if you want to talk about this that would be yeah. fucking great because i just don't know like if we're going to be this deep um i feel like if we're going to size up we should be sizing up a little bit more than usual so let's say we're playing 100 big blinds deep then we can choose to either block or bet half pot both are fine mm -hmm. but this deep i think we would either block or go with let, let's say 75 percent or something okay um I don't think we always want to uh, to bet our hand, but probably the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, same story on the turn, but on the turn you actually did size up. Um, yeah, that's going to be like 80% or something. Mm -hmm. So that's completely fine. Okay. Um, on the river, um, the river is going to be annoying in the sense that if you're going to bet all of your kings and aces, um, I don't think you can fold all of those to gems. But it would feel so gross to call this off to a jam. What do you think about sizing? But then again, um, sizing is fine because uh, for the same reason we um, we sized up on the turn, um, we're still we're just going to be ahead of villain's range so often, and I don't really see villain ever calling uh, aces here, especially this deep out of position. He's just purely gonna four bet that. Yeah. So. We're only worried about two. two so yeah, hands. actually, uh, yeah, yeah, and maybe a four X though. You can still have Ace Four suited this yeah, deep. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I think he would probably chuck in a raise on flop or turn. This yeah, that's deep. Uh, that's very reasonable. Otherwise, he can't get money in, yeah. right? Yeah, he would raise some of the time, but uh, he would also check call some of the time. Same goes for a uh, five four suited, which he opens probably at some frequency, and this deep he just never folds free, so um we actually do lose to some uh some value but but in general uh the sizing is fine i think and if he shoves oh um if he shoves so it, it would be 
If he shoved, it would be for 128.93 more. <laughs> and I just think I would just die. <laughs> I think I would just fold. <laughs> yeah, I think there are going to be some combos of aces that are going to be better calls because um, yeah, yeah. if you block ace for student, that's yeah. going to make a difference. Yeah. Um, so I think we can almost purely fold this combo, but it wouldn't surprise me if we uh, if we see some calls in theory here versus a jam. Yeah. I mean, is there even any fucking theory for 500 fucking big blinds? Uh, I mean, you can run the sim, but um, <laughs> I don't know if <laughs> if it'll be representative for how people play this spot in practice, because is he really going to find uh, check raise river jams as a bluff? Would mm. be pretty spicy. Would be. Especially against two players who seemed weaker because the big blind also started with, uh, I think, 99 and a half big blinds or something. Yeah. So the fact that he doesn't have out to top up is usually an indication that it's not a full time rack. So. So we see about this flop with King Jack, and I think we just have to <laughs> peel with um. With the gut shot and the backdoor flush draw, really a really ugly turn spot. Well, thankfully he checks. I'm not really sure what to do because I don't really want to trust this guy to fold, but it's kind of like our nut bluff. Uh, so we have to bluff. Um. I think all in is like actually the best thing to do here. I like this a lot. Okay. Especially because he checked back so quickly on the turn. Yeah. Um, if he had a flush, he would always think about it. Yeah. And we can we we can definitely have all of the flushes, literally every flush, because we bet called the flop. Is that fair? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I would probably, um, without any reads, I would probably roll for it on the river and um, bluff that one at a decent frequency. But when he, when he snaps checks turn, I'd probably uh, just pure, uh, pure jam it in on mm -hmm. the river. Well, guys, we found it. The rocks approved river, river jam. I, I'll tell you who else is going to like it. Oh, by the way, we had $222 that we jammed in the river. You'd love to see that shit. Yeah, I think Hildreth uh, yeah. will like this one. <laughs> yeah, Hildreth will like <laughs> Okay, we're out, guys. So, that's it. Let's do results, and then we are going to send you over to YouTube. Woo! Big session today, guys. My biggest probably ever, I imagine. I can't All remember. All right, let's see it. I can't remember a time where I've won more money than this in a session this year. Really, feels, it feels good, guys, because it's been fucking painful, especially the 10-0 challenge. It's been hard. Uh, so, to book something like this is pretty fucking nice. There you go, Roxy boy. That's nice. Yeah, That's so what we go. like to see. Here you go, guys. There you go. $140 up. Oh, God, it feels good to book a win at 50. Rocks, absolute fucking pleasure having you on. I cannot wait to have you on again if you want to do it again. Um, insane value from you. So, yeah, absolute legend. Really appreciate it, mate. Yeah, it was good to be on. I'll definitely be back uh, sometime in the future, probably with the challenge. And uh, I got to say, you played very well this session, especially the King Jack bluff was, uh, was really good. Thanks, man. That means a lot coming from you. So I'll take it.